this lab we will see how you can containerize your azure ai services so basically uh, let's say if you want to have more control over the scalability security of your azure ai service you can deploy them as a container in your local docker host or also in the azure container instances so for this we will have to create a azure container instance and also azure ai service as we have already understood that azure ai service is still required in the cloud to pass on any billing or the utilization data so let us first start with creating a container instance so start searching here for service called container instance click on this and click create and fill in this information let's select the resource group that we have previously created and give you a unique container name here test ai service container let me give this and let's create in the same region availability zones let it be none sqa standard and then image uh, resource will be other registry okay and image type public and now here you need to specify the image so all the images of all your azure ai service is present here in microsoft artifact registry so so here we need to specify the image so all these images are present in microsoft artifact registry so for now let us take the image for text analytics where you will be uh, detecting the language of your text okay and then select linux and you can change the size for your compute so let's take 12 gb memory you can uh, change gpu here for now let let it be none okay and next go to networking here you need to give dns name so let's give some test ai service dns and uh, keep this as tenant and change the port from 80 to 50 100 and then click next okay and then you need to give the environment variables you remember we uh, need to connect this as your container instance to our as your ai service so for that you need to give the environment variables first environment variable that you need to give is api key and then you need to give your billing and both of these should be secure so we kept it as yes and then you had something called eula which for which will be accept and now for api key let's go to your azure portal and uh, the ai service that we have created earlier we'll use the same ai service and let's go to the azure ai service that we created and go to your keys and endpoint take your key key one or key two anything you can take and Oh, sorry, I did some mistake. I accidentally deleted it. So let's give here key. And then in the billing section, you need to copy this endpoint of your Azure AI service and give the endpoint here. And then say next, and rest all you can leave as is, and then say create. So once it runs the final validation, hit create. So now after waiting for a few minutes, our container instance is deployed and let's go to this container instance. Now what we have done, we have packaged our Azure AI service using image on this container, right? On this container instance basically. So our AI service is hosted in container now. Now we have to send the request to your Azure AI service. So we will not send the request to the actual Azure AI service that we have created. Instead, we will send the request to container instance. So for that, we will use this fully qualified domain name. 
and copy this fully qualified domain name and then go to your this is the command script i'm trying to edit and then paste that here paste that here and then say save and close this now go to visual studio code and take a new terminal so your command script was in e drive so let's go to e drive and call the command now if you see when we have called the command language detected is english so what was the command given so if you see here we were posting a post request wherein you are posting a request to your container container url and over the port 5000 and then you are calling which function text analytics api language function get language and here you are passing the data in the form of json documents wherein you have again two fields id and text and you are trying to detect the language of hello world text and then you have some other text so if you see the response that is given also is in the form of json document and detected language is first text it is english and then it has given all other attributes and then again for the next text it has detected the language as french so now if you see we have posted the request to container instance not to the azure ai service now let's back get back to our portal and if you see here just refresh this and if you see here you will get the spike and you can see that the request has come to this particular container instance so this shows that you can make use of containers and container will in turn send all the billing and utilization data towards your azure ai service so i just wanted to tell you how azure ai services can be deployed or can be consumed using container instances thank you